Jeffrey Cratchit. You <laughs> 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 already have a plane home. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll talk to him, okay? Take care of getting home and great work today, guys. <laughs> Tim Scrooge? Yes. Uh, Jeff Cratchit. Yes. <laughs> I suppose you're going to argue about Christmas Eve duties? Well, let's hear it. Well, it's just that a lot of us. I mean, most of us were hoping to spend Christmas with our families, you know? And I'm to take the loss? Well, no. what if someone comes in on Christmas Eve wanting to take a character workshop? Or, or do a, a two-man show with a cool dude from their class? <laughs> <laughs> I'm to go in the red because you all want to have a merry suit this Christmas. Well, no, no, no. Nobody is saying that. Tim Scrooge, it's just, I mean, it would be nice to have Christmas off. I. I can cover the dues of the cast. Very well. But be there even earlier the next night. Well, that's Christmas. <laughs> I know. Shut up. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> bah humbug. And now, for me to rest my weary head in the most economical of beds. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm not a 
religious person. I'm pretty open about that. And uh, I just feel like if we can make this a little more secular, I feel a lot more comfortable. Wait, you know what I mean? How are you still an atheist? We're, we're dead. My death <laughs> does not change a strongly held belief. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what any of this really means. Well, I, I, well, I, I, you were brought back to life. There's an afterlife. This proves right. there's an afterlife. <laughs> you okay. can't be an atheist. We're alive right now. For the sake of argument, for the sake of argument, I'll give you that. But at the same time, is that an indication of a Christian God? No. You said you know, to make him change his ways before Christmas. Clearly, that's like a, this is not a secular. Well, I don't like labels on me, Mike. Do you guys, don't, do you guys like need a minute? No. Okay. No. Entity. <laughs> Thank you. And they will show you your error in the way you've treated your fellow man. Very well, but <laughs> But leave me, bother me no more, spirits. Okay, but actually, I'm checking bus tracker, and there's one approaching in like two minutes. Is it cool if we wait here until then? <laughs> Please, it's like sleeting out. <laughs> you guys take the bus? <laughs> yeah, we're not millionaires, Tim. <laughs> you took all our money when we died. <laughs> okay, fine, you can hang out, sure. Ha <laughs> ha. 
okay, look, I'll go with you, but like, ballpark. How long am I gonna have to hang out with you? I am the ghost of Christmas present. Time is meaningless to me. Come, and I will show you a phenomenon that you so often miss, yet it's happening all around us. Christmas. <laughs> Worried about 
Jeff and Megan right now. Perhaps I should get them a fruit basket. But an affordable one. Okay. Good luck with all that to the Scrooge. Two goes down, one left. What awaits me? Oh, no, it's not. No, I know. 
<laughs> so if I was to send you to get a goose for me, you couldn't do it? No, I'm watching the show. Man. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this option was on the table, though, on Christmas Day, would you still be available? I'm going to be with my family. <laughs> <laughs> Do they live out of town or? Yeah. Okay. Where? Just Milwaukee, cool. but not coming back here for yeah. <laughs> You're not coming back here? Well, no, not to get you a goose. You know. <laughs> Are you and your family close? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we both agree I'm nice now, right? Whatever, man. Hooray! <laughs> Boy, as happy as a man that confidently dates all the women. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Christmas. Oh, oh no, I forgot to shovel the walk up to the theater. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't know how much it snowed outside. I am so sorry. Jeffrey Cratchit, do you know what time it is? Yes, I know it's late. I am so sorry. It is time for me to open a new theater. The Jeffrey Cratchit Gallery. <laughs> where everyone can do any show they want, regardless of draw, and get a cut of the door. Oh. <laughs> yes. And Tiny Harrison, in this envelope, there's a metro train to Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah. And there's $3,000 in there as well to help treat your illness. For a, from a Dr. Pond in Milwaukee. Oh, Mr. Rooch, I don't know how we can ever repay you. Well, this is all dependent upon one condition. Oh, no. That you all have your set. <laughs> <laughs>